<sighs> oh, god dang it, of course. It's, no, no, it's class. No, 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 let me not just keep them. Look, I know you're gonna be here. Okay, good job, you're early. Hey guys, Supporters Carter here. Welcome to Weird Wacky Wednesdays. I got my, got my snacks. Now I'm about to, I'm about to vibe up in here for spooky month, you know what I'm saying? Um, there are gonna be games coming your way, by the way, just letting y'all know, okay? Don't just think I'm just slacking. No, we don't do that. What we do is vibe, all right? We vibe. So you're gonna vibe with me, or you're gonna vibe against me. <laughs> you don't know what I'm saying, don't you? Of course you don't. Disgrace. But let's get into Weird Wacky Wednesday, shall we? Shall we? Okay. Okay. All right. So this first one is is from Llama Arts. All right. You already freaking know Llama Arts be you know, making that art because you know Llama Art and art. Yes, Llama Arts. All right. So this one's called a Midnight Horror Story Anime. You already freaking know. It's been a while since I watched his videos, and you know I'm about to freaking get back into it. So let's freaking do this and not waste time. Yes. Mm. Midnight Horror Story. I'm not making this video for attention, or sympathy, or anything. I just want anyone who can help me to do that. My name's you Daniel, know sometimes. I and this is a story I wish I didn't have to tell. But why? I've been a night owl my entire life. As a teen, I used to stay up way past midnight every night, watching terrifying videos on YouTube. Mm. I know now they were nothing compared to the Why? Why? Isn't this a dead- When was this out? September 20th. Really? Really, Lama? This is a dead meme. Burger King foot- Really? Okay. Horrors of the okay. real world. Nothing compared to the tragedy my family and I went through. The story I'm gonna tell to you now. My parents, being teachers, had always emphasized the importance of sleeping well to me and would definitely disapprove of my late night routine. So I knew that if they'd caught me up at that time, I'd be in big trouble. At first, this wasn't a problem, but after I told them about a child predator in our neighborhood that I'd seen in one of my videos, they seemed to grow more and more paranoid, which was obviously understandable. Every night, I'd hear one of them wandering into my room, checking on me, and every night, I'd immediately turn off my light and pretend to be asleep. Mm. I never knew for sure if it was my mom or dad coming in, since obviously if I opened my eyes to see, they'd know I was awake. Mostly, I presumed it was my dad, from the heavy sounding footsteps, but either way, ah. I found it pretty hypocritical for them to preach to me about being up late when they were awake themselves. Exactly. Sometimes I wondered if they knew I wasn't sleeping, because often it was only after what seemed like hours before they'd finally leave and go to check on Alfie. That's my little brother and Lucy, my little sister. I'd have asked them about it, but I thought it would have confirmed any suspicions which they seemed to already have about my staying awake deep into the mornings of the next day. Mm. Like I said, I guess they were just paranoid about the child predator. It was hey, it's supposed to be. stupid for me to presume any of these things, and I'll never forgive myself for it, but I did it all the same. Anyway, one day, Lucy's school, where my parents both work, announced a school trip. <clears throat> it meant they'd be gone at some point next month from Saturday morning to Sunday morning, and it meant that I'd finally get to watch the horror movie my friend had lent me, and my parents had refused to let me watch. There was one downside, though. I'd be left to look after Alfie. He, being only six years old, this my man mom just like, was reluctant to leave him just, I'm just surviving with these. My dad Have you ever heard of Adderall? Adderall's pretty good, bro. Alfie had been up most of the night after a nightmare, so he'd probably sleep most of the day anyway. Besides, he reassured her, he's 17. He could be given a little responsibility. He's been fat. With a heavy heart, my mom agreed. I honestly wish she hadn't. Finally, the morning came for them to head off. 
It took longer than expected because my sister said some of her favorite toy dolls had been stolen. Bang. But eventually, my mom persuaded her that they were probably just lost and told me to look for them whilst they were gone. Mm. I begrudgingly agreed, and soon they were ready to go. As they were leaving, my mom gave me a stern word, reminding me to lock the doors, not go to bed too late, and take good care of Alfie. She told me she'd be watching through the Listen. security cameras to make sure I was looking after him properly. Man, I they told got her she really didn't have to worry. Then we said our goodbyes. Lock the doors. Make off. sure it's locked. Alfie and I spent most of the day playing outside, but came in after the frisbee landed near a strange man. Yo, that Adderall cut. In his nightmare. I told him that that was ridiculous because even if he somehow was in his dream, he wouldn't be able to remember. Hmm. Anyway, I went by myself to get it. I have to admit that the man was fairly creepy. He had a huge grin, and his eyes, staring right at me, like seemed to be permanently forced further open than they were designed to go. His clothes all seemed to have been made from someone 50 years younger, as they struggled to cling to his fully grown body. It was cold, but he was wearing a sun hat, a tiny one for children, which barely fit on his head. I recognized it. I didn't know how at the time. Mm. If I'd learned anything from the videos I spent my nights watching, I'd have abandoned the frisbee and left. But clearly I didn't, because not wanting to feel like a baby, I He's approached just walking. Him. As I got closer to the man, oh, his smile disappeared, the... and he removed the hat and held it behind his back. I began to see his features in greater detail. He looked tired. He was pale and his eyes were bloodshot and had huge gaping bags under them. Frig, In the entire time it took me to get to him, the man didn't move an inch, other than the odd blink. Not even his eyes shifted. At this stage I was getting uneasy. I just wanted to get it and leave. Hi, can I have my frisbee back please? Thanks. The thought of that conversation. If you can even call it a conversation, still makes me shiver. I locked the front door as soon as we got home. You better lock everything we you see in the shaken, house. And Alfie looked tired, so I gave him some more food and put him to bed. <sighs> it took him about two hours to fall asleep. Him windows locked. He kept complaining that he'd have another nightmare about that man. That man I told him he house, would, I'm gonna but he wasn't that. convinced. I see him every night. He whispered to me. Well, if you see him again, don't see, worry. See, what is he, upstairs or downstairs? I can figure this out in two this seconds. This seemed to settle him down, and soon he was fast asleep. At about 11, it was watching time some to put Dragon my film Ball. Mom, what are you doing? I couldn't have my mom knowing that I was watching it, so I did something naive and ignorant, and something I'll always regret. I turned off the security cameras. What? what? I watched it for two hours straight, my eyes never straying from the screen, oh. until <laughs> such a... I replayed the last few <laughs> seconds of the film, but the sound didn't happen again. It was coming from inside my house. Yo, I don't I even walk slow. I will... If he's he in there, reply. I'm... But I could see him under the cover, so I thought he was just asleep, and I didn't want to wake him up. Oh heck, not! I swear, if I thought anything worse had Why happened, Why is the window open? I checked. You okay? No. I thought maybe I was just open. worrying too much, hearing things. My. It was late. And the film had been scary. <gasps> maybe it was just all in my head. Spence. I knew from the sound of his voice it was him. Alfie! Alfie? Usually this much noise would have woken him up. Alfie, what's going on? I knew something was wrong. He is not in there. It was him. The doll. I couldn't believe of it. Course. It had to be some kind of sick prank. It had to be. But it wasn't. Mm, you better go the get man him. I'd spoken to earlier. He'd taken my brother. Alfie! 
I was certain they'd be gone before I could reach them. But he didn't set off straight away. He watched as I tried helplessly to do something. I screamed and I shouted and I banged on the windows and I tried to open the doors. But nothing worked. It was all in vain. There was nothing I could do for my brother, my best friend, as he was stolen away from me. What? It was too late for the police to do anything. It was too late for anybody to do anything. He was gone. And in time, I'd have to come to accept that. No! Oh my god. You have nine new messages. First message. Hello? If you're out with Alfie, call me back when you get back in, please. Love you guys. Bye. End of message. Second message. Daniel, we've been trying to get a hold of you for hours. Is everything all right? Did you turn the security cameras off? They'll be fine. The security system probably just glitched out. Hey, Alfie, just call us as soon as you can, okay? You know how mom worries. End of message. Third message. Listen, Daniel, we're starting to get really worried now. If you don't pick up, one of us is going to have to come home to check if everything's okay. Please pick up. End of message. Fourth. Daniel, are you okay? Daniel! What's happened? Please answer! I couldn't bear to tell them anything. That was seven years ago. I never found him. When I asked my parents if they'd seen anything at all of this man whilst they checked on us during the night, they only looked at me, concerned and confused. What do you mean? They asked. I could only stare at them in horror. Every night, around two, you'd come and check on Alfie, Lucy, and me to see if we were sleeping. Daniel? They told me. No, no, we, we didn't. didn't. The police wanted security camera footage. I freaking footage of the man, knew it! But of course, there wasn't any. It automatically deletes any footage older than 24 hours, which meant I'd been mindless enough to stop it recording on the only night we could have seen him. Of you know, course, the strange man. thing is, I don't even know if I want Alfie to be alive. Because if he is. God knows what that monster has done to him. <sighs> Sorry if I've gone on too long, but the guilt's been killing me. I had to get it out somehow. I only tell it as a story because, well, people like stories, and I want as many people to hear this as possible. Alfie, if somehow you're watching, I love you. And I'm so, so sorry. Please, don't lose hope. And to the man who took you, it's not too late. If you have any heart at all, and even if you don't, please, please let my little brother come home. To everybody else, if someone comes into your bedroom at night, open your eyes. You never know who it might be. I still stay up late at night. But it's not because I don't want to sleep. It's because I can't. In case anyone sees Alfie, this is the last good photo we took of him. You have an actual photo, or is this that's just it. a story? Stay safe. Cause this stuff is, if this is actually real, that's messed up. God, I feel, I feel. If, I, I don't, I'm pretty sure this is not real, but if that was real, man, bruh, that is sad, man. That's why I just keep telling y'all, keep y'all doors locked. Don't do no stupid bull crap. I swear to goodness. We have security, and I even have security at my house. We make sure people don't freaking go up in our house. I swear to God. Like, don't, don't do any stupid stuff like that, man. That's a freaking life lesson to freaking 
taking care of your sisters and brothers, even if you sometimes you know you hate them, you 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 don't just hate them that you freaking let them get captured. All right. I mean, I'm not saying that that's what happened to me. I'm just saying, take care of your siblings. If you're the oldest one, you got to make sure that they're safe. I swear to goodness, man. Nobody's allowed in this house, man. If somebody pop them in this house at night, I'm, I ain't backing down. I ain't, and I'm not joking. I'm speaking from the heart right now. I'm not backing down. Seriously. If I see a person, no. I'm getting my whole freaking Glock. And I'm about to bust him. He ain't going to step a foot in this dang house. And that's a fact. No opinions mentioned. Alright. We have enough for one more video. That, that video was kind of long. We might have enough for two, two or one more video. We might have to. Depends how long it is. Alright. Um, last one is called The Roommate. Alright. This was another Llama Art. Since Llama Arts really impressed me with the first one, we're gonna watch another one. So this is gonna be basically a Llama Arts week, all right? So let's get into this one. And it's called, yeah, it's called The Roommate. So I can see on the title, all right? Okay. Looking for a new roommate is always a daunting task. Even though you interview and take the time to get to know that person, I put subtitles you don't truly really find out who they are until you start living with them. I had begun searching for a roommate after I decided to leave my current residency. Mm. I was contacted a couple of hours after placing an ad on the Facebook marketplace. The message read, Hey Chris, I'll be moving out of my current apartment this August and I'm looking to room with someone new, as my roommates are moving to California this year. I'm 27 and I'm currently going to school. When I'm not at school, I enjoy hiking and watching movies. I also apprentice at a taxidermy shop on the days I don't have class. Hope that's not weird. It's always been a fun hobby of mine. Anyway, I'm looking forward to hearing back from you. Have a great day, Lunaire. Seems original. My first and most obvious reaction after reading the message was to check her profile. She was of medium height, had long, messy blonde hair and green eyes. In her profile picture, I saw her standing with a man and a woman what shoulder kind of to shoulder. Picture? They each adorned goofy grins and held up peace signs. Uh. Under the photo, the caption read, Love my roommates. I smiled to myself and decided to send her a message back. The sun beat down on us as we hoisted various objects to the second floor of our new apartment. Hoisted? It took us a couple days to get oh, everything out of the moving though. trucks and into our new place, but as soon as we did, a wave of relief washed over our sweat-drenched and sore bodies. After a couple more hours of rearranging, we each grabbed a beer from the fridge and sat on the porch. We reminisced about old 90s it's cartoons and what video games shit, we obsessed know. over as kids. And as the sun started to set, I truly felt relaxed and confident that things were going to work out. A week later, I started a new job for a construction company that was owned by a good friend of mine. Nice. As I was getting ready, I heard the front door swing open and walked into the living room to see Lunaire and her friend David sliding in a large box. <laughs> what you got what there? Got there right? I asked. Through a strained grunt, she replied. I bought a freezer to store some of the animals I'm planning on using in my taxidermy work. But I hope that's all right. But I was obviously what? hesitant oh, at oh, first, oh, as there was no mention of this happening in the first place, but I eventually accepted and returned to my room to continue getting ready for work. Okay. I came home at around 9 p.m. after having a couple of beers with friends and noticed that the freezer was nestled snugly in the lower part of the pantry. Oh, yeah, they made some a space low hum it. could be heard reverberating off of the inner walls. I was curious to see okay. what was inside, but didn't want to intrude on Lunaire's business, so I went into my room and changed into more comfortable clothing. After changing, I came back out into the kitchen and started making a sandwich. Nice. I opened the fridge and grabbed what I needed. As I turned around, I stubbed my toe on the edge of the island ah. countertop and let out a long, exasperated of grunt. Course. Through my frustration, I slammed the fridge door shut and checked my toe to see if there was any bleeding. It's not gonna bleed. As I raised my head toe, back, I was greeted by a shadowy figure. Lunaire was standing in the doorway leading to her room. The darkness she behind her almost she seemed to joint. envelop her. Is everything okay? She said in a deadpan tone. Shit, yeah, I'm sorry. I just slammed my toe into the corner of the countertop as I was making a sandwich. I hope I didn't wake you. It's fine, she said, in the same deflated tone as before. 
She then turned around and walked back into the darkness of her room. I could tell that she was pissed, so I quietly made my sandwich and retreated back to my room as well. Only hearing what the, the low hum what and the my sandwich and retreated. So you just put the jelly on there and then just butter just melts? Retreated back to my room. Huh? Is that how you make peanut butter and jelly? Okay. Room as well. Only hearing the low hum from the freezer as I closed my door. I had the next day off, so I was able to sleep in a little longer than usual. When I finally emerged from my room, I walked Yawn. into the kitchen to make breakfast. As I opened the refrigerator, I noticed that the light wasn't turning on and there was a lack of cold air escaping from inside. Why? I turned around and flipped the light switch to confirm my suspicion. Sure enough, the power was out. Damn it. I muttered under my breath. I walked over to Lunaire's room and knocked on her door to tell her about the power outage if she didn't already know, but there was no answer. I then remembered that she had classes that day and probably wasn't home. I walked back to the kitchen and passed the pantry. As I did, I slipped on the floor but was able to catch myself on the countertop. Dang, watch your grip! I angrily exclaimed as I looked down at the floor trying to figure out what I had slipped on. It was blood. It had started to leak from the Why? corner of the freezer and pool onto the floor. I quickly tried to open the freezer to find out the cause of the viscous liquid, but then I noticed that it had a padlock attached to it. I don't remember seeing that before. I ran out to my car and grabbed my toolbox from the back seat. I approached the freezer and set my tools down on the nearby countertop. I then pulled out a small pair of bolt cutters and snapped through the metal of the padlock. It fell to the ground with a large thud. I creaked open the top of the freezer and was greeted with a putrid stench that permeated my nostrils. I quickly pinched my nose and walked away gagging in response. I guess I should have realized that was going to happen, I muttered to myself in between gags. After gaining my composure, I grabbed some gloves from under the sink and started taking inventory. I could see a couple of dead birds and plastic bags wedged into the corners of the freezer. You're talking about some animal stuff, yes. I took each bag out and set them in the trash can nearby. That's when I noticed that the blood was coming from the corner of the larger black bag. What? I don't know why, but I decided to she open the top of the there? bag and peer inside. I was greeted by large, milky oh, white eyes. A swollen body. black tongue surrounded by cracked and bloated lips. And the matted hair of a human head. I swiftly what dropped the, the bag and fell backwards onto the floor. My breathing had ceased to exist and I grabbed the trash can next to me and expelled my disgust into it. I then ran out the door, got into my car, and called the police. As I sat in the interrogation room with a blanket over my shoulders, oh my God. I couldn't help but think about the face I'd seen. It looked so familiar. That's when it finally hit me. I pulled out my phone and looked at Lunaire's profile picture. It was her old roommate. The one she said was moving to California. Oh, when the detective entered the room, she started the questioning process, asking me if I started noticing any weird behavioral occurrences <laughs> around the apartment. <laughs> yeah, I stubbed my toe the other day and she creepily stood in the doorway. It seemed like she was pissed, but yeah. just, for don't some forget reason to mention I had a strange feeling toe, like she was concerned about something that's when i connected the dots what she didn't come out to the kitchen because she heard me stub my toe she came out into the kitchen because she thought i slammed the freezer instead of the fridge a cold sweat started to form on my forehead as my surroundings became blurred i could hear a low whine slowly starting to cover up the words of concern from the detective as my vision started to clear I could see another officer enter the room and whisper something into her ear as he handed her a piece of paper. Do you have somewhere you could stay at? She asked. I mean, I was planning on staying with my parents. They live about 30 minutes outside of town. Mm. Okay, she paused. Listen, I don't want to worry you, but we found this picture inside of your apartment. She slid the piece of paper across the table and I immediately felt like someone kicked me in the chest. The head of Lunaire's other roommate sat on the chair. In the background, scrawled oh. on the wall in blood, red. Oh. Left my Where room. is she now? Take her. Why, why is she doing this?
Oh, it's over. Why is she doing this? What's the what's what's the reason that she's doing this? I don't understand. Like, real? Do y'all know? No? Like, see, I know, right? Like, look. Why? All it was is a goddamn roommate. She looked kind of bad, though. Not gonna lie, but she had to be a wicked freaking special purse. But uh, yeah, uh, I guess that's all for this episode of Weird Wacky Wednesdays. There we go. All right. Okay, guys. If you guys enjoy this uh week well, day of Weird Wacky Wednesdays, you know. Put a freaking just put your video in the comments so I can watch and you know we can get some content up in here. But yeah, I'll see. You, uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next week or to to I make mean, next week to tomorrow or like you know when I make my next horror reveal, Spooky Month. But as I tell you, I'll see you guys in the next. <laughs>